the Time Squad traveled back into the Dark Times with the Eighth Doctor. Having found the location of the source of the alterations to time to be Mordela, the Daleks brought the saucer to confront the Tenth Doctor's mercenary fleet over Mordela, alongside a vampire coffin ship commanded by the Ninth Doctor, to stop him destroying the planet. This instigated the Battle of Mordela, which resulted in the Tenth Doctor's escape and the complete obliteration of Mordela. Pros. The Knight, the Fool and the Dead, all flesh is grass, believing they'd failed to correct history. The strategist and scientist had the Time Squad harvest specimens from many species that were either extinct by the native time or had never previously existed, hoping to learn information they could use to their benefit and create a more biologically efficient form of Dalek, the symbiont. Pros. The Restoration Empire. Mission to the Known. All flesh is grass. One of these races was the natives of Velocia. The Daleks arrived under the pretense of saving them from the Kotoru, and convinced them to bring the greatest minds to the Daleks, which they then harvested. Later still, accompanied by the Eighth Doctor, the Daleks discovered an abandoned ship with a source of Huon energy. The Daleks attempted to absorb the Huon energy, but found themselves in difficulty till the Doctor helped them. They thanked him for being their savior again, to his discomfort. Comic. Tales of the Dark Times. Though they sidelined him from their plots, the Daleks allowed the Eighth Doctor to accompany them on explorations. Pros. All flesh is grass, including an abandoned spaceship they discovered adrift in space. Whilst he was fascinated by the art aboard, the Daleks found a source of Huon energy and attempted to absorb it. Comic. Tales of the Dark Times. The strategist and scientist decided to focus on the creation of a symbiont that would combine genetic material from the great vampires with the Daleks, thus creating a Dalek mutant that could not die. To this end, they had the Time Squad attack the Ninth Doctor's coffin ship to capture a vampire however the Eighth Doctor forewarned the vampires so they could evacuate and absconded with his future self in his TARDIS. Pros. All flesh is grass. After he left, the commander and executioner received pre-recorded orders from the Emperor for event of their failure, ordering them to destroy Gallifrey before the rise of the Time Lords. Pros. Mission to the known. The commander kept these orders secret from the strategist and began dispatching scout ships to eliminate the remaining Kotoru, fearing their judgment on the Daleks. The Daleks traced one of the vampires from the Ninth Doctor's ship, Akala, to Intranxis where she'd been captured by the Death Brokers. A scout ship was sent to capture her, however the three doctors were also present and helped her escape. The Daleks destroyed an oncoming Kotoru ship and then used missiles to set in Tranks's atmosphere alight. The Time Squad abducted a great vampire that was being transported aboard a coffin ship and commenced experimentation. At the same time, the commander and executioner alone were informed by a pre-recorded message from the Emperor of another plan, to be carried out in case of failure of the main mission, the ultimate end the destruction of Gallifrey in the Dark Times, before the Time Lords had risen. Using a Bloodsman apparator, the Eighth and Tenth Doctors, Brian, and a Gexin, a Bloodsman from the coffin shop the Daleks had captured the vampire from, apparated on board the saucer, hoping to rescue the great vampire. The Tenth Doctor and Gelson witnessed the creation of the symbiont, which caused an unexpected power drain that allowed them to escape with the Eighth Doctor, while Brian chose to stay behind. Whilst escaping the symbiont, Brian sabotaged the saucer's drive core so that, were he to be exterminated, he would take the saucer with him. Here he learned the target of the Dalek's ultimate end and told the doctors of it, then was rescued by the tenth doctor. Realizing this meant that the doctors would defend their homeworld, the strategist ordered for drones to be enhanced with symbiont DNA to ensure their victory. The doctors came to the defense of Gallifrey in the tenth doctor's flagship, which instigated a battle between the two forces. The original symbiont, having been sent in a scout ship to Birunji in order to exterminate the last of the Kotoru, Inyat, was judged by her and given instant death, which spread to all drones that were given symbiont DNA. This threw the Daleks' assault into chaos, as they panicked that the judgment may spread to pure Dalek DNA, despite the strategists' pleas to press the attack, giving the Eighth Doctor enough time to apparate aboard the saucer and fit a trigger to the drive core that was earlier sabotaged by Brian. Using a Kotoru crystal to amplify the blast, the resulting explosion managed to send the saucer hurling into the time vortex, away from the dark times. Pros. All flesh is grass. The Daleks assumed the Eighth Doctor dead, however, he had actually survived the blast using heat shields he acquired on Athana. He continued to sabotage the saucer, trying to disguise his work as a series of malfunctions, 
causing conflict between the commander and strategist on how to resolve the situation. The commander favored the executioner, giving it autonomy to purge the ship of aliens, whilst the strategist worked with the scientist to stabilize the saucer. The doctor interrupted the scientist's work by infiltrating his laboratory and tricked him into telling him about their prisoners and secretly planted an explosive on it. He helped the prisoners escape the executioner's increasingly insane rampage, with it destroying the Daleks and damaging the ship in the process. The commander was unable to rein it in, to the strategist's frustration. The doctor detonated his explosive, exposing half the saucer to the vortex causing it to start to break apart. The strategist sought out the doctor and tried to bargain with him for safe passage in his TARDIS. He played along however exposed the deal to the commander, resulting in a firefight between the strategist and commander. The strategist prevailed, killing the commander, which prompted the drones to turn on him as a traitor whilst the doctor escaped. Audio. Mutually assured destruction. After the saucer finally broke apart, the Time Squad was left stranded in the Time Vortex with no protection with many drones being torn apart by Time Winds. Disappointed by the failing of the Emperor's plan to destroy Gallifrey, the strategist escaped the Time Vortex via an emergency temporal shift, an ability he acquired through implementation of Kotoru crystals into his casing. Pros. Exit strategy. One drone survived falling through the Time Vortex, ending up adrift in space. It sent the message the Emperor had received at the start of the crisis. Pros. The last message. The drone was eventually brought aboard the Starship Future in 2985. There it attempted to rebuild its casing and encountered the fourth Doctor. Audio. Genetics of the Daleks. The Restoration Empire's interaction with the Kotoru crisis ended with the strategist and Emperor both intent on finally making war with Gallifrey in an ultimate conflict. Pros. Exit strategy restoring the arc of established events. TV. The end of time. A. Al.